that is your biggest negotiating tool is to listen. If you listen, you know, and just be open and honest, I think that that will work. And you're asking, like, what do we do about is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you... more than 30 years i got my real estate license in the um, and your your origin story is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna use that kuka you know I, i'm a little more strict with what i'm i'm looking at uh the best way to negotiate with a seller is just by listening Okay, if you listen and just keep asking questions, okay, they will tell you the true motivation and their true pain points. Okay, you're not here to convince somebody to sell you their house. Okay, all you're there to do is try to f to give solutions to their problems. All you're here to do is give solutions to their problems. How do you know their, what problems they have? By listening and taking everything in. Now, not everyone will be accepting to you as far as they will confide in you right away because you're a perfect stranger to them. You build rapport. You talk about things that have nothing to do with the property, how their day is gone, how... If they're an older couple, oh, do you have kids? Do you have grandkids? Things like that. Then you come back to, okay, well, what's the reason you're looking to sell? And just shut up. Just shut up. They will tell you, if they give one word answers, just, hmm, okay. And keep quiet. Nobody likes awkward silence either, so they'll want to dig deeper and go in there a little bit deeper, okay? Just learn when to shut up, and then you will get the true answer on their why they want to sell. If you do that, you have all the negotiating power, okay? You have all the negotiating power. You know exactly what, they're, what they want. The reason why. Now, again, we're not here to convince. All we're here is try to see if we can make a deal happen and go from there. We want to do everything on the up and up. We want to make sure we're ethical. We want to make sure we're doing everything, everything right. We want to make sure that we're telling them everything that we're doing and being open and honest about our business. Hey, we're going to be making money on this, but we, in the, in turn, we want to help you out as much as possible. So with that being said, listen, just listen to the sellers. That will be your biggest negotiating tool. That is your biggest nego negotiating tool is to listen. If you listen, you know, and just be open and honest, I think that will, that will work. I want please leave a comment. I want to know if these videos are actually being helpful. And if you want to see any other type of videos, please leave a comment and let me know. I've been doing wholesaling for three years now. Uh, and I'm, I still have my day job. I still have my nine to five. Okay. While I'm doing wholesaling. We put together a Facebook group in Metro Detroit, Metro Detroit Off-Market Real Estate Group, as well as we started this YouTube channel. And all we're doing is trying to help out as many people as possible while I'm still wholesaling and while we're still doing, I'm still doing my 9 to 5. So if you have questions about doing my, your 9 to 5 and wholesaling, let me know. Leave a comment down below and... Let's all do deals together. I'm open to JVing with everybody. I'll look at any deal in the Metro Detroit area. See you on the next video.
There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room